Tuesday morning here. A dollar forty-one is gas. X. That went up ten cents overnight. Oh, and what's this going up here? Oh, they're clearing the streets here. Ooh, getting a little bit of a late go at it here, eh? It's 6 a.m. It's time for everybody to go to work, guys. They usually have this all done by this time. We must have gotten a late start today. Oh, boy. I wonder if there's a way I can get around these guys? Or if I should just wait? You know what? No, I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to go to the right. They really should have had this done by now. They usually do. Uh, 6 a.m. Like all these streets here are done. I don't know why the main streets aren't done. There's probably a reason, but art's a little inconvenient. That's okay. We have another way. There's going to be a lot of upset people in about 10 minutes. <laughs> That's not too difficult to just go around. But you know how drivers are out there. They're going to get frustrated very quickly in the morning. <laughs> You don't mess with people's morning commute. This is something I've learned. <laughs> See, most of us here, we can just silently find a way around and be like, okay, well, I'll just go this way then. There's always those few people out there that are going to lose their minds and not know what to do and think that they're completely stuck and freak out. <laughs> oh, good thing we have more than one road in this town. Yeah, you can just go around. <laughs> Our big, exciting first assignment for the day is pick up one of our uh, trailers here again that's been repaired 603 I think it's this blue one right here 603 is that you that's you hey buddy we're gonna be friends I heard you're all better now were you sick oh he got the sickness all fixed up Let's hook her up and uh, do a little walk around, make sure that we don't miss anything. Come here, little guy. I'm glad you're feeling better. I have to take him to the trailer, doctor. Come on, come on. Come on, latch onto me. Do you like me or what? We're gonna be friends. There you go, there you go. Right, we're friends, we're friends. Okay. Uh, let's go out there and zip this up it's actually not too cold today it's wonderfully warm today I thought I had a pair of gloves here already I put, uh, put you down here <laughs> these ones are cold now I'll take the warm ones thank you very much I always have a pair of warm gloves on the dash warming up and then the pair that I'm using and on the really really cold days I have a, a third pair of gloves on the dash I always have my face covering right here on the dash keeping nice and dry and warm and my toque as well when I uh, when it, on the cold days. Today's not that cold, so whatever. Still nice to have warm mittens on. Okay. What'd they do to you? What'd they do? What's new? What's oh? You got a new little handle here. Very nice. Looking sharp. Nice, nice. Let's plug you in. Let's see if your lights all work. I bet they do. I don't know what they. Uh, brought it here for i wasn't the one that dropped it off but these trailers like i said they're delicate fragile little trailers they're very expensive so you got to be careful with them you got to be very gentle with them all right well she's dirty but uh this wasn't a truck wash that we brought her to it was a repair shop so i'm gonna take care of this in summertime remember don't you worry girl it's winter time. You sort of got to embrace the dirt in the winter time. Springtime comes around. April, meh. Maybe May, meh. June for sure. No later than June, okay? It's gonna take me a little while to get to all of you. All of our roll ties. I'm bringing my power washer to work. I'm washing them all out on the inside. That'll be like my summer side project that no one asked me to do, but I work with these roll ties quite a bit. And it drives me nuts how dirty they are on the inside. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Because the dirt doesn't actually touch anything. It's just sitting here. But it touches people's eyeballs, you know, right? The light bounces off of it, and then it goes into people's eyeballs, and then they see this. And that bothers me. I want to pull a clean trailer behind me and send clean trailers out on the road. So uh, this is my own little project I'm going to work on this summer. 
getting all of these things and keeping them clean through the summer. Winter time, it's a lost cause, right? It's just, you sort of gotta embrace it, but we'll see. It all depends on how much time I have too. I'm talking about on days when I got like nothing else to do and I'm sort of just looking around for work. Well, I don't have to look very far for work this summer because I already have this. So when there's no, no loads to pick up or deliver, this is where you'll find me. Clean this all off. But yeah, it looks good. I'll give this deck a little sweep, I guess, and uh, be off to the races. It's looking good. good. What's this, whoops, what's this big rock doing in there? I don't want that rock. Unless I'm getting paid to haul it, I don't haul it. <laughs> I'm not getting paid to haul rocks. Not today, anyway. So let's do a quick little, uh, oh shoot, I gotta go get the lights going on the trailer. We're gonna do a little light check on this trailer. You can already tell that the marker lights are working. We don't have marker lights on the top, but we do have reflectors and they're in place. So just gonna put the hazards on. Uh, use one of my very fancy uh, brake checker tools here. If I can get one. Hey, excuse me. I know we haven't worked together in a few days, but I'm still the boss. Jeepers. Okay, let's hook that on there, hook that on there. Okay. So now the hazard lights should be flashing and the brake lights should be on. Close this up here. Lock top and bottom. Yeah. All right, let's go make sure they all have premium winter air. Now you can tell it's good air by the way it is, okay? I've, I've said this before, so. Listen carefully. That's good air. Oh, some good air right there. How about these? Oh, that's high quality air. Yeah. Yep. Want to see something fun? Oh, these are locked. Shoot. <laughs> I was going to show you because this axle is lifted up. When you release the trailer brakes, they'll spin. I'm going to take you back there. We're going to release the trailer brakes anyway because uh, I got to make sure there's no air leaks. It's always something. Always something I forget. Gotta check the signals, the brake lights, the marker lights, and the air system. Oh, I can already hear a leak. You hear that? Okay, we're gonna have to fix that. That's why we're supposed to check that first, Josh. Come on, Sugar Josh. We're supposed to check the air, Sugar Josh. One second, one second. What are you doing to me? Now, why are you like that? That's not very nice. You see? Once again, you can tell that it was bad by the way it is. That one too, you're sucked in there. I need to take my glove off for this. This is detail work here, you see this? There you go, there you go. Better be careful. Oh, I'll show you who's boss. Give you a little, give you a little spit shine right there. That'll help you seal better. It actually does help it to seal better. I'm not just doing that. Okay, now that should be sealed. Oh, the, that's in the other yard over there. Something was leaking. No air leaks here. Got that fixed. I told you. Put a little spit on it and rub it around. It seals it better. That one I learned from my dad. Okay, so now this brake should be released and we should be able to spin this. <clears throat> or it will release. <laughs> we'll come back to you. You know, some days I like to think I'm smart, but most days I get humbled. You know why that wheel wouldn't turn? Because we got the brakes applied. <laughs> That's one of those moments when you get humbled. You're like, why aren't you turning? Are you frozen? No, the brakes are applied. Who applied the brakes? I applied the brakes. When? Less than two minutes ago. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so now these should spin. All right? Yeah. There you go. See? Told you. I just got to dig deeper into my brain and find all that, uh, all that smart stuff in there somewhere. Just got to search around a little while sometimes. It's there though. And it's a little warmer today, so we got the flaps open on the grill. 
If it gets any warmer than this, I'm gonna open up these two as well. Let that air get in there and cool it off. But at the same time, you don't want the engine to cool off too much. You wanna keep the warmth under the hood as much as you can. Got back to the yard with this trailer. And I have to go pick up another empty that we have. Apparently it's a strange looking trailer. Huh? Some kind of gooseneck? I don't know. So this one's ready to go, which is awesome because we're always short on roll tights. I parked this in the empty lineup and uh, I'm sure it'll be put to work either today or tomorrow. This first lineup here is our empty. I could put it across there as well. That's for empties and loaded. In front of me there, facing this way. The ones that I'm driving beside right now, those are empty only. Let's see if I can find a spot here first. I see we have our uh, our low bed here loaded down with a load of snow. We're taking it down to Texas. All right, get ready, Texas. Got a full load here for you. something else I got to remove this uh, crank off of here so it's not the original crank I don't think so I can't fold it up see the old one would fold up and sit right in here this one I actually have to physically take off of here and leave it inside one second okay just pull this off of here come on come on Okay, it's hard to hold everything. Oh, there you come on. What is holding it on there? Now let me put these down. My tools over here. Come on. Something's holding it on there. When in doubt, what do you say? What does Trucker Josh say? When in doubt, what do you do? You grab the crowbar and leave everything else in there. Come on. This will solve all the world's problems right here. This one crowbar. Gotta get this thing off of here. 
I put it on there so I know it comes off. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I need you to get it off. I need you to get off of there now. There you go. What else is a crowbar good for, right? Solving all the world's problems, one whack at a time. One whack at a time. Okay. Let's not forget that screw on my fender there. I gotta put that back in there. You know what? I should actually leave it on here. That would make more sense, right? That would make more sense, Tricker Josh. And we're all about making sense on this channel. We're not too much though. We don't want to make too much sense, but every now and then we have a little thing like this. We're like, hey, maybe these two things should stay together. Oh, but then they'll fall out, you see? Oh no, they got the washers on there. They'll, they'll stay in there. Okay, you put that there and that there, you see? Just throw that in there like that. Come on, oh, screw on there. There you go, see now you won't lose it. Ha! Ha ha! Trucker Josh thinking. Mm. Okay, so I'll do a walk around of this thing. I don't know what this is, but I want it. I want it. It's got air in the tires, that's good. Single tires. Got a big light bar on the back, that's awesome. So I gotta put this inside. So that's the two entrances there. Uh, I would take you in, but it's not ours, so uh, you'll just have to trust me. This is the living quarters out here. It has a little, I guess a shade canopy for the window. It's a pullout. I think there's a couch in there. There's a bathroom, a shower, and a sink on the other side. A bed up top there on top of the fifth wheel. And a whole kitchen on the other side there. So there's like an RV from this point forward. And then the back here, it seems like a big open work area slash storage area, like tie downs in the floor and stuff. But there's some toolboxes in there. Big open space. And then uh, there's a door leading out the back here to where uh, I guess that comes down. It's like a ramp coming in here. So it's just like a big open storage work area back here. No idea what uh, this is for or where it's going, but it's hooked up to my truck. Huh. There's a first for everything. Something new every day. Tell you what, it's a new adventure every day. Me and the old Pete. Two buddies out here in the wild. All right, we got it back here. Now I gotta get it into one of these spots. You think I can get it right on the end? You think I got the skills? It's a long try. I, could... I think I could do it. I'm gonna put it right in the end here. Tell me I can't do it. Do it. I'll show you I can. That's a big wide open space. Yeah, it's a bit of a blind side, but it's a small trailer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where am I gonna put you guys? All right.
can't believe you doubted me. <laughs> so, well, that was fun. Sort of looks like a horse trailer, doesn't it? Not a horse trailer. Though that would be cool too. That makes me want to watch more Yellowstone, but I'm waiting for season five. If anybody knows the director, could you tell them to get on that? Hurry up. All right, there we go. Giggity, giggity. Let's go home. It was a good day. Not too shabby if I say so myself. There we go, look at that. All the city trucks all lined up in a nice little row. At least all the Pete's anyways, there's more city trucks over there. You kids play nice tonight, okay? Make sure you get to bed on time. We got work to do tomorrow. Every time. I'm sorry, Chevy. Got you all worked up. Diesel. Man, I'm too old for these pranks now, man. I'm getting old. I'm ten and a half. You're ten, Diesel. I think you're ten and a quarter. Whatever, man. I'm old. He give me all excited. I'm going back to my womb. I'll be in my womb on my bed if you want me. Diesel, that's my room. It's mom's womb. Good boy, Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> Chevy, we need to take you to the dog park real soon. Yeah, we need to get all that energy out. It's not long enough just to run down the hallway anymore. You're a big boy. Just wanted to hop on here and say thanks for watching. Once again, you and wrap this up for you. That was an interesting trailer to pull. Haven't ever pulled anything like that before. Like I said, it sort of looked like a horse trailer. I, I posted it on Facebook. A lot of you sort of thought it was a horse trailer too, and I wanted to leave you in suspense until now, so I didn't say anything. But I would have thought it was a horse trailer. No, it, it was a very interesting trailer. I, I didn't want to take, take you guys inside there because it wasn't ours. But like I was telling you, it, it looked like, a, well, the front end was an RV. But the back end looked like a kind of a work area. There was a bunch of toolboxes in there and a big open area. It looked like it could be a showroom. Almost like a, a kind of trailer you would take to a truck show if you want to sell stuff. You know, sell merchandise. Like a merchandise, like a portable store type thing. That you could also sleep in if you want to if you go to a truck i don't know whatever it is it's cool it's cool it's something different so thanks for watching everybody i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>